Tick Tick versus Todoist. Today, we're going to be talking about two of the most used organizing platforms out there. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be quickly giving you a run through and follow up on which of these platforms work better and which of these are the best for you. Okay. So to start things off, what we're going to do is we're going to get started with the detailing and information about TickTick and Todoist. Now, most of us run our lives from a to-do list app. You know, we use it to stay on top of our work tasks, but also for personal chores, movie watch lists, and vacation checklists. Though there are countless to-do apps available, Todoist and TickTick have topped every list for years. Okay, so Todoist and TickTick look and uh, look and function kind of similarly on the surface, but underneath, they approach the task management very differently. Now, I've used both of these apps in the past, and I dove back into all the features to help you figure out which one is going to work the best for you. Now, if we talk about Todoist uh, and TickTick at a glance, now because they're both to-do list apps, you will need to dig deep to figure out which makes sense to you. So to start things off, what we're going to do is we're going to sign up with both of them. They both have a very simple and easy sign up procedure. All you're going to do is you're going to come over to the sign up portal here. You're going to add up your email, you're going to add in your password, and you're going to click on sign up. Okay. Same you're going to do with Todoist. You're going to click on start for free on their main web page. From there, it should bring you to the sign up portal. Okay. And here, simply what you're going to want to do is you're going to enter your email and you're going to have to enter a strong password that you think is going to work well for you. Once you've done that, simply click on sign up with email. Now, both of them are going to take you through an onboarding. So they're going to say, choose what features you need. So I'm going to go with task and calendar. Okay. And we're going to click on next, choose the to-do lists that you're going to be needing. So we have work, memo, shopping, wish list, study, exercise. I'm going to go with work. Let's go with study and exercise and let's click on get started. And there you are. TickTick -tick brings you straight into its platform. Todoist will also bring you through the onboarding where it's going to be like create your profile. It's going to ask you to upload a photo. If you want to, you can, but I'm simply going to go ahead and add my name. Now, if you want to use Todoist with multiple people, you're going to click on this option, but I'm going to be going solo, so I'm going to click on continue. How do you plan to use Todoist? We have personal work and education. I'm going to go with work and we're going to click on launch to doist. And there we go. Now both of these platforms are up and running. So let's talk about tick tick first of all. Now when it comes to ease of use, the platform tick tick is slightly congested. You know, the design is a bit, you know, all over the place. Then the platforms that it provides you are Mac, Windows, Linux, iPhone, Android, web browsers, Apple Watch, and even more. So that is how incredible it is. It doesn't provide you with any AI. The productivity level is pretty good because it pr provides you with a lot of different views that you can generate. You have views like Kanban board, Eisenhower matrix, calendar, Pomodoro timer, habit tracker, and even custom templates, all that you can change from your view section over here. So if you want to add something, just click on plus and you can create a list of the different tasks that you can assign with any type of view that you desire to use okay then even collaboration is pretty cool because on each project that you have you can collaborate real time with other users by simply sharing your project with them okay you also have pretty good integrations uh nine total integrations which also integrate with zapier which basically means that you can integrate with any platform you know because zapier connects you with other external platforms out there and you can do is you can simply go to settings to add integrations and other applications for yourself so look at this all of your integrations are available over here all right then the pricing for both of them tick tick will give you a free plan forever but also give you a four dollar per month premium plan okay so if you want to 
you know, look out and spend money for a to-do list platform, then TickTick gives you a very decent plan for your money, okay? Now let's move over to Todoist. Now, as you can see, Todoist's ease of use is pretty cool. Clean interface that's easy to learn along with and navigate on, okay? It's a lot like other to-do list platforms like Notion and a whole lot more. So if you've used Notion, you're going to get affiliated with Todoist straight away. Now, again, the platforms for Todoist are the same as TickTick because it gives you Mac, Windows, Linux, iPhone, Android, web browsers, Apple Watch, and a whole lot more. Now, Todoist also has an AI assistant that can suggest tasks, break them down, and suggest you what you want to do with it. So let's say I'm going to add a task, okay? And once you've added a task, you can actually go ahead and add an extension of an AI, okay? So you're simply going to go over to Browse Integrations. And here in the most popular integrations, as you can see, we have an AI assistant to tell you what are, you know, the attainable goals for our task. Then moving over to Productivity, we have, again, Kanban board with limited calendar view, natural language support, and a whole lot more. So it's pretty cool and fun stuff. Again, productivity level rises a lot as well. You can collaborate with your team as easily as you want to. All you're simply going to want to do is whatever project you are creating, like this one over here, you can simply go ahead and share it with other people, copy the link, send it out to them, and a whole lot more. And the pricing is similar as well at $4 per month for premium perks like AI and a whole lot more. And obviously, a free plan is available as well because that is what we signed up on. Now, Todoist is less overwhelming. You know, dealing with to-do lists is overwhelming in itself, and Todoist's design does a better job of not adding that to your anxiety. It offers a cleaner interface that focuses on its most essential job to do's and neatly tucks away the rest of the more advanced functions. This minimal theme is consistent throughout its apps, which have little to no meaning. So if you even if you want to create tasks, look at that, it's that easy to do so for yourself. You know, when you click a task to expand it as, as well, like let's say this one, to do is focuses on ensuring the options you need frequently, like you know, reminders and uh, is the outright visible and it nestles the remaining tools under a three dot menu. You know, how cool is that? So, you know, similarly to do is can detect natural language input and allows you to simply write file taxes in two days to add a task. OK, so, you know, even if you consider in making a typo, it will fix it for you now. Todoist isn't too far off from TickTick because TickTick also generally works like this. Now, the reason for that is that TickTick has more powerful productivity features in itself. Okay, so what are those productivity features? Todoist's simpler design can prove to be a disadvantage when you're looking for more out of your app things to do. Now, TickTick will basically offer an extra productivity boost apart from the classic to-do experience, okay? Even though creating a task isn't the most efficient, you know, you're gonna have to just create it over here, click on add, and there it's created. And if you want to, you know, manage its uh, settings, you're gonna want to, you know, have a very different interface than what to do is provides you now tick takes four column interface for starters and more convenient for multitasking between tasks and projects you can manage and view a to-do description in its separate column as opposed to do on todoist now where it opens up in a full screen panel hiding the rest of the tasks and projects you have a range of editing everything in full and it gives you a very good you know repertoire to work on now when it comes to, you know, Todoist versus TickTick and which you should choose, picking between both of these comes down to what kind of a to-do app you want. You either, you know, will certainly, you know, get a app which wants to get a job done. Now, for those in the search of a platform that focuses on to-do essentials first, Todoist is the way to go. OK, but if you're a power user who frequently uses advanced task management tactics, then you'll feel right at home with TickTick. 
So yeah, do let me know down in the comments below which one of these platforms looks more suitable to you and which one you think you will work better on. Do let me know these things in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the video, please do make sure to draw, drop down a like and subscribe to the channel as well. Till then, that is going to be all from me and I'll be seeing all of you wonderful people in the very next video. Have a great and amazing day. I'll be seeing all of you next time. Goodbye.